according to the Central East. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back again to another, to another video in my channel. This is your first time of coming across this channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. God bless you. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. To my returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for always stopping by to support my channel by watching my content. So guys, without taking much of your time, I just want um you will be seeing the video anyway. Okay, so this po this police you are seeing here now is a, a Ghana police. Okay, so they arrested some Nigerian guys that they are doing some certain things, you know, in their country. All right, so nobody is forbidding anyone from entering their country. But the thing is that we not enter to do to as in to destroy the, those country. That is something nobody wants. All right. So I me, mean, I don't I don't really understand what our Nigerian guys are doing there that they cannot do in their own country, like where they come where they came from. All right. And all these things now, these are the these are one of the things that that are really like destroying Nigerians' name. All right, because it's not all Nigerians that are doing this kind of thing. But when some people keep doing this kind of thing, it's spoiled. But I will just leave you to watch, okay? See for yourself, guys. See for yourself and also hear According for yourself, the okay? Police command, the way the um, they, part of they, they, they are really doing things and the way they caught them doing those things they are doing. I just want you to Earlier just watch week, and see. All right, thank you so much. It's like a witness time. Stay safe and remain blessed. I love you. Bye-bye. In another operation today, over 26 Nigerians, including two females, were arrested at Ion City, a suburb of Kaswa, in the Utu Senya East municipality. Items retrieved from the suspects include laptops, mobile phones, machetes, and some substances suspected to be Indian hemp. Speaking to City News, Central East Police Commander DCOP Ochrebo Apia indicated that the suspects will be screened and those found culpable will be processed for court. The Central East Regional Command embarked on an operation at Iron City, a suburb of Kaswa. And three houses being rented by foreigners, mostly Nigerians, were raided. 26 suspects, including two females, all believed to be Nigerians, were picked. SBs made up of 31 laptops, 26 assorted mobile phones, Five machetes and substances believed to be cannabis were retrieved from their rooms. Uh, they are being kept in custody and will be put before court if found culpable. There are two females among them. Uh, we are going to screen them and those found culpable will be arraigned before the law court. According to the command, Kaswa is gaining notoriety due to some activities of foreigners and is therefore urging Ghanaian landlords not to hesitate in reporting suspicious tenants to immigration officials. Kaswa has gained notoriety because of these uh, uh, Nigerians. We have to uh, keep surveillance on them, their activities, so that if uh, you know that uh, wherever they are staying, or their movements, their businesses, if there's anything wrong, you inform the uh, security uh, agents, more especially the police, to uh, get them arrested. And these foreigners who come to rent rooms in their houses, they have to uh, investigate their backgrounds. They have to report them or alert the immigration officers to go through their documents to see if they have the right uh, resident permits to be in the country. The 26 suspected internet fraudsters who are Nigerians and were arrested by the Central East Police Command are here at the command. And the command says these suspects will be screened and those found culpable will be processed to court. This and many others are ways the command is using in the fight against crime. Carl Vestete, City News, Central East Police Command. Police command. The operations forms part of efforts to clamp down on criminal activities in Kaswa and its environs. 
earlier last week, a dawn operation saw over 100 Nigerians, including some prostitutes, being arrested at SMG Pub on the Gumwanyanyano stretch. In another operation today, over 26 Nigerians, including two females, were arrested at Ion City, a suburb of Kaswa, in the Utusenya East municipality. Items retrieved from the suspects include laptops, mobile phones, machetes, and some substances suspected to be Indian hemp. Speaking to City News, Central East Police Commander DCOP Ochrebuapia indicated that the suspects will be screened and those found culpable will be processed for court. The Central East Regional Command embarked on an operation at Iron City, a suburb of Kaswa, and three houses being rented by foreigners, mostly Nigerians, were raided. 26 suspects, including two females, all believed to be Nigerians, were picked. SBs made up of 31 laptops, 26 assorted mobile phones, five machetes and substances believed to be cannabis were retrieved from their rooms. Uh, they are being kept in custody and will be put before court if found culpable. There are two females among them. Uh, we are going to screen them and those found culpable will be arraigned before the law court. According to the command, Kaswa is gaining notoriety due to some activities of foreigners and is therefore urging Ghanaian landlords not to hesitate in reporting suspicious tenants to immigration officials. Kaswa has gained notoriety because of these uh, uh, Nigerians. We have to uh, keep surveillance on them, their activities, so that if uh, you know that uh, wherever they are staying, or their movements, their businesses, if there's anything wrong, you inform the uh, security uh, agents, more especially the police, to uh, get them arrested. And these foreigners who come to rent rooms in their houses, they have to uh, investigate their backgrounds. They have to report them or alert the immigration officers to go through their documents to see if they have the right uh, resident permits to be in the country. Of the 26 suspected internet fraudsters who are Nigerians and were arrested by the Central East Police Command are here at the command and the command says these suspects will be screened and those found culpable will be processed to court. This and many others are ways the command is using in the fight against crime. Carl Vestete, City News, Central East Police Command.